Welcome back. Now, there have been many books written about the Falklands War. Rarely, if ever, have they used cartoons to tell the story of the conflict. But now a former Welsh Guardsman in the regiment's 100th year has published his unique account of the war, including depictions of scenes from the bombing of the Sir Galahad, where 32 of his battalion were killed. As Andy Davis reports, the book's providing a new way of the men telling their families about the conflict and their role in it. Will Kevins, singer, cartoonist, Falklands vet, Kill old boys. is back in South Wales. All right. <laughs> he supplies the guitar. His old friend Mike Hermanus, the jokes. We got Roger Whittaker was dead. What's his new look? They fought together, now drink together. First Battalion Welsh Guards, three decades on, the banter undiminished. It took me five hours to get down the M4, mate. Five hours? Sweet. Oh, we walked. And here he is 33 years ago, with others in the battalion. Filmed in the Falklands by a fellow guardsman, it's their story now being retold in the unusual format of a cartoon book. I thought that I wanted to do a book about music. And ironically, in a lot of ways, my music was part of the Falklands because a lot of the actual emotional input that I put into m the melody of my music comes from what, the pain or a way of kind of um, dissipating my, my inner feelings about what happened to us in Falkland. I'm so tired making the same mistakes. After the Falklands, Will Kevins went from playing in ska bands to producing this debut single. But he's a games designer and cartoonist by profession. He's drawn Dennis the Menace for the BBC, Billy No Mates for the old Zit comic, and now he's produced this unique take on the Falklands, capturing their poker nights travelling out on the QE2, their landing at Bluff Cove. It's a classic comic strip perspective on the dark humour and horror of war, from the moment they encountered the faceless corpse of an Argentinian soldier to the one when a fellow guardsman discovered his captured Argentinian conscripts shared a love of Queen. By the end of it, he'd got this entire tank deck of, uh, of uh, Argentinians singing, We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. It was just an amazing thing. It was just it summed up the kind of lunacy of, of the world in which we live. This is the Sir Galahad here. This is Sir Galahad. Here. What, what was it like drawing this particular scene? It was it, to be honest, I could never engage with anything to do with the Falklands without it making me weep. The casualties and survivors, many suffering from shock, many who had heard their own friends screaming in the locked dormitories, unable to get out. 48 men were killed when the Sir Galahad was hit by Argentine jets, most of them Welsh guards. We were all covered in burnt flesh. It's the smell of... Of the burnt flesh, yeah. Of the burnt smell, it was just... It... Stinking, out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and what did you change? You had nothing to change. You smelled like death, and, but you smelled like death for another two weeks. But every time they show it, we go straight back to that moment in time, you know, and it's, it's not something you can escape. Just a whoosh. It seemed like flying, I was flying through the air forever. Mike Hermanus was on the Sir Galahad at the time. You lost friends? <sighs> Handsome, yeah. In my room in two platoon, Glenn Grace, boy, you bought boy, he got killed. Then you had Ian Dale, boy from Pondy. He got killed. Two men out of five men in the room were dead. It's a lot to swallow when you're 19. Hell, I'm a lot to swallow. I don't care what I... We pay the old price for that island. I'm telling you, we pay the old price. In the name of God, the Father, created you. Will Kevins wasn't on the Sir Galahad that day, but his book has become as much a eulogy to those who were 
as it is a personal memoir. So I really felt that I was giving something back to the Welsh Guards and I was giving something back to the boys uh, that we lost. And I've, I've always felt that responsibility. And finally, what does this book mean to these veterans? Its images on one level appear as remote as a child's fictional war comic, but they were moments which would prove so defining for them all. It's helped, they say, to let others understand who they were then and who they are now. It's a fabulous book. It's good. I've got an eight-year-old daughter. She's having a look at it. She goes, oh, so that's what Daddy did. He's got a little picture of me in there at one point in there. This is me, this is what happened to us, and it's something an eight-year-old can understand. What's it like looking at, at Will's interpretation of...? It softens it. It's not as harsh as it was. It, 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 it takes the rough edge off of it. Will Kevins is planning to return to the Falklands for the first time next year. There is a sadness to it all, he says, which he still needs to explore. Andy Davis reporting on the book, if you're looking for it, is called My Life in Pieces. Wonderful story.